Question number nine, Mojo Mavis. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Broadcasting. Will he consider using regulation to increase New Zealand's levels of captioning for free to air television? If not, why not? The Honourable Craig Fox. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have considered this. But I do not think that regulation is necessary at the moment, given the large voluntarily increase in captioning by free-to-air broadcasters. For example, 100 per cent of TV1 and TV2 prime time is now captioned. Mojo Mavis. Supplementary question. Is he aware that Australia has committed to 100 per cent captioning for all free-to-air TV channels? from 6 o'clock in the morning to midnight by the end of 2012, and will his government commit to ensuring similar levels of captioning in New Zealand? The Honourable Craig Foss. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. I am aware of that move in Australia, and it's an admirable, admirable move, and I fully encourage New Zealand broadcasters and entities in this space to follow their Australian cousins. Mojo Mavis. Supplementary question. Does he believe that a hands off approach to regulation will achieve full captaining in New Zealand given the low levels of captaining on TV3 during prime time, which is only 53% according to figures from 2011? The Honourable Craig Foss. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. As I understand the question, I do acknowledge that TV3 is lower than TV1 and TV2, um, but I also note that the total uh, captioning hours have moved from 70 in 2000 to 240 hours a week. In a competitive environment and market, I'm quite sure that those at MediaWorks TV3 will be paying attention to these questions. Mojo Mavis. Supplementary question. Will he rule out pay to view companies such as Sky TV receiving funding until free to air captaining is at an acceptable level? The Honourable Craig Foss. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I do understand that Sky have, particularly via Prime on free to view, uh, have been in discussions trying to gain uh, assistance to provide captioning. I do also note that on their own uh, volition, they have invested funds in captioning in a very competitive market. And I'll repeat the answer to my previous questions. I'm quite sure competitors in this space will take strong notice of today's discussions and what the competitors are doing. Question number 10, the Right Honourable Winston Peters.